Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Becker Holstein, positive psychologist, and I'm back today to talk about a very important subject, social media. Social media is all around us, and it has to be something that if you are a parent, you need to, I'll say, take care, be in your child's best interests. That's because social media can turn into a place where kids can be victimized or misled. I'm going to try to give you a very simple example, comparing ourselves with what our children may face. For example, when I was in elementary school, there may have been a bully on the playground who said something mean to me once in a while. There may have been a girl in my classroom or maybe several girls that became a little gang and when they had a birthday party, I wasn't included. Things like this did happen through the centuries, forever. Let me take this a little bit further. Let's say that there was a bully on the playground and he or she teased me about something as they walked by and I felt pretty upset. Then I go home and I tell my parents, maybe or maybe it's not even that important, I don't tell them. And night comes and I watch a couple of shows that I like and I get ready for bed and I go to sleep, and the next day I go back to school. The bully may still be there, or he or she may ignore me the next time. Let's think about the birthday party that I was left out of. I felt bad, maybe. Maybe I even told my mom and shared a little bit that I wish I was more popular. Maybe she gave me some suggestions or said she would invite some of my friends over. And the party would come and go, and I would go through my daily and nightly routines just the same, watching TV, doing my homework, riding my bicycle, calling a girlfriend to see if she wanted to go to the movies on Saturday, and whatever composed my life in the fourth grade, the fifth grade, the sixth grade, even into the seventh grade. Let's look at it now. Let's say that there is a bully and uh, the girl goes home. She's not now forgetting about the bully or just mentioning it briefly to her parents. She may be checking social media every few minutes hour after hour to see if this person and maybe his or her gang are ganging up on her. She may even resort to try to hold her cell phone in the bed with her so she can see if anyone is still bullying her. Her life has become totally contaminated with the pressures of realizing that she has some sort of bully. Will she be able to speak to her parents and get the appropriate help? Maybe, but maybe not. She'll be too frightened. Maybe she won't want to tell them. Maybe she's ashamed that they're picking on her. This is what can be experienced today, and it can lead to danger. Let's take the birthday party. As I said, we, when we grew up, we would just uh, you know, know it was happening and maybe be a little sour or sad for a minute, and that was it. In today's world, she's checking social media. She's seeing all the photographs. She's seeing the food that was prepared for her friend's birthday party. She's seeing everybody hug and play and have a great time, and maybe there's music in the background, and maybe there's relatives there, who knows, but whatever it is, She's not there, and she's sad, and she's remorseful, and she can carry that with her for hours and hours and days and weeks. So my solution to you, if you're a parent or responsible for a child, 
as the major responsible person is quite simple. You need to be totally involved in what your son or daughter are watching on social media. And you can make it very clear to them that you are the legal person in charge of them till they're 18. I'm not saying you have to be this formal, but that is the basic truth. And you can give them a sense that it can be dangerous and that you're here to help them. After all, you are a parent, you're not a friend. You have every right to monitor what they are seeing and how they want to respond. In fact, it's your responsibility and it will make you feel good to take the responsibility. Your child will feel safer and it will lead to less extreme problems happening because of social media.